In this video we're going to take a look at how to sketch a lap joint. So start off by looking at uh, a picture of what we want to end up with and uh, we want to ask ourselves what information we want to convey in this here. Uh, so we'll start off by drawing just a rectangular block using the axis and the isometric grid paper behind it. Uh, you can see I have the numbers in for the number of uh, uh, squares that are being used for each of these and there's a kind of a guideline at the corner there leading out to the piece so coming in two squares and I'm going to create the um, part that's taken out for the lap here draw everything light and then start to go over heavy what it is that you need and we want to give it the impression of wood so we put in a few details that are going to show that our face side face edge and our end grain and I'm going to take it from a different perspective here now uh, and the next drawn and again it's not that terribly important how many uh, squares we measure across here it's the uh, details of the joint that we want to show here so one rectangular piece and again put on the face side face edge and I'm going to lead it out to the other side showing uh, the other section coming up to that and I can take out the piece that makes the little bit of the lap on this here so this, the, because the two pieces line up, they look as if they've actually just been drawn apart from each other, and we call that an exploded view. So we have two exploded views, and when we look at this then, we want to put in some of the detail to show um, how the joint would, should be marked out. I'm just going over the outline here with a, a, a fine black pen just to make it stand out on the page a little, which seems to work pretty good. And I put in a few dimensions. You can refer back to the earlier video on putting in the dimensions. but. Uh, Taking, when we're taking a look at this as well too, ask yourself which uh, of the views shows the best detail and I would have a tendency to go with what's drawn on top there shows somewhat better detail of the particular joint. And uh, that's our lap, our lap joint drawn here. And a final picture then, a slightly closer view of um, what we want to end up with. You would probably get away with just uh, drawing the top section there.